Hello. Greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You know when it comes to preparation, we always tend to focus on the materialistic things. But we ignore focusing on the spiritual things. But let's prayerfully look and prepare ourselves what are the spiritual truths that we can learn from the event of the Christmas. You know when we read from the book of Matthew chapter 1 verse 18 it says now the birth of Jesus Christ took place in this way. Then the story begins. But before that incident Matthew he writes the genealogy of Jesus Christ sometimes we ignore to read the genealogy and sometimes we think that who remembers all these names what is the use of knowing them all but God made it sure that genealogy should be the part of the Bible and it is as important as any other promises in the Bible. Without this, Bible cannot be called as the Bible. It carries the equal weightage. In chapter 1, Matthew chapter 1, verse 1 says, A record of genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Here we see the word is being used genealogy, which is a Greek word, means Genesis or the beginning. That means it is a new beginning, a start of the New Testament. Genealogy of Jesus Christ reminds the faithfulness of God. Several Old Testament prophecies are being foretold about the birth of Jesus Christ. Some people must have eagerly waited the Messiah will come and they left this earth and gone. But yet, God remained faithful. And in due time, the word of God says, God sent his son. So therefore, gospel aims to show the messianic prophecy is being fulfilled. Therefore, gospel aims to say that the messianic prophecies are fulfilled. This reminds generations of generations God remained faithful even when people remained unfaithful to him. Therefore, Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 4 says, he is the rock, his works are perfect, and all his ways are just, a faithful God who does no wrong, upright and just is he. What a wonderful verse. He is a rock and his works are perfect. All his ways are just and he is faithful and he does no wrong and he is always upright and just. Some must have died. Numbers 23 verse 19 also says, God is not a human that he should lie or change his mind. Does he spoke and then not act? Does he promise 
and not fulfilling isn't this an amazing thing to know that god remains faithful even after generation to generation he is same yesterday today and forever let us trust in him lean on him and in his plans secondly the genealogy of jesus christ reminds god's unconditional care for his children for example god cares for his children even after generations to generations in the genealogy of jesus christ he used both believers and non believers he used male and as well as female he used righteous people and even unrighteous people for example rahab and ruth were gentiles but they were added in the book of genealogy the other women such as tamar rahab and uh, bethsheba are having the questionable character but however rahab's faith and obedience was appreciated by the new testament writer for example james she obeyed in spiritual decadence it is important to obey to the right authority that is what exactly jesus christ has done he obeyed his father not the satan the genealogy of jesus christ speaks that even he used the cursed people for example in the verse 12 it mentioned about jokomaya according to jeremiah chapter 22 verse 30 jokomaya's family is a evil family and a cursed family yet god is so therefore john chapter 3 verse 16 says god so loved the world and he gave his only begotten son so that no one should perish all should have everlasting life this is the god's unconditional love this proves the god's unconditional love and thirdly the genealogy of jesus christ reminds the god's continual plan for the salvation of his children thirdly the genealogy of jesus christ reminds the god's continual plan for the salvation of his children verse 17 says matthew chapter 1 verse 17 there were 14 generations from abraham to david 14 generations from david to the exile to the babylon and 14 generations from the exile to jesus god not just worked with the 14 generations and it continues in the old testament time god raised judges he raised kings he raised prof- prophets and many more leaders and in the new testament time god raised disciples god raised apostles god raised missionaries and so on now god has raised pastors evangelists lay leaders and parents family members and even friends the god's work is continuing for generation God's character, nature and love will never change or never fades. Hebrews 13 verse says God is same yesterday, today and forever. 
and the psalm 136 was 25 says god cares for every creature and his love endures forever dear beloved the study of the genealogy not just shows our past but it shows our identity who we are where have we come from and what is our mission it helps us to envision the mission of our future therefore the genealogy of jesus christ confirms that jesus is the direct descendant of the biblical patriarchs and through him blessings for all the generations isn't it a joyful thing to know that god is faithful and um, he cares unconditionally and he continues is the work of salvation through the generations therefore during this christmas there is a joy to the world